In this scene, we're going to further decorate our room. So we're going to start with the console. I'm going to go back to the Hypershade Editor. And what I want to do is add a nice blue. Um, so what I'm going to do is select it, which it already is. And I'm going to clear this, get rid of all that. And we're going to create a blend. So blends are always a little shiny, which is what I'm looking for. And I'm looking for a nice blue. So I'm going to just click this. And you could change the color a little bit. I'm going to go with that. And what I would like to do is uh, have it kind of like this. And we're going to turn the reflectivity all the way down. Um, and maybe reflected color, which will show uh, when we render. So I'm going to go with that. And I'm happy with that. So what I'm going to do is select that. And, oops, I just realized I forgot to rename this. I'm going to do that uh, right here. So I'll go uh, reflect uh, projector. Important that you rename your stuff properly so you don't get it all mixed up. There you go. So I'm really happy with that color. So now what I would like to do is color these these cubes here. All right. So um, I'm going to create a new uh, Lambert. So I'm going to clear this first. I'm going to create a Lambert. And I am going to go and click again over here. And I'm going to go and get a file for a diffuse map for the uh, crates and click open. And I'm going to click it and I am going to name it. So I'll go crate. So we're happy with that. And uh, so I might have to scroll down. Where is it? I not see it here. Okay, so I selected the crate, and I'm going to just add the crate material to it. And I see there's an error. So what I'm going to do is I may have to recreate these boxes. So I'm just going to delete these. And um, I realize I may have given you wrong instructions. Hopefully I'll have corrected these. So I'll go to cube and turn off normalize. So, um, so I'm going to create a uh, crate, and I'll just drop it right there. And, you know, you can resize these on your own time, basically. But I want to show you what's going to happen now. So you saw that the last one was kind of warped. So we'll go back to Hypershade Editor. And we're going to select the correct material. Select this. And then we're going to assign material to select. Whoops. Assign material selection. And now you're going to see that it, uh, with the normalize off, it, forms properly. It takes the image, whatever it was, and puts it on all the uh, proper shapes. So that's really important. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to Alt and go find those pillars. And I'm going to take, um, going to be in the room, of course. I'm going to go and add this Mars texture to it. It's going to look cool. So I'll just select them all and assign this to it. It'll be a very cool and I'm going to press Alt in the middle button and move over here. You can move however you need to, I suppose. Um, then we go here, assign material to selection, assign material to selection. So I'm very happy with that. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new, um, I'm going to go right click, face mode, and I'm going to select this face. Uh, and what I want to do is create, again, another Lambert. And this Lambert is going to be uh, basically the floor. So I just realized I forgot to name it, Lambert 5. So I'm going to go here and go get the floor diffuse map. So here we go, click open. And this is always a problem, actually. So I need to uh, I'll redo this, clear. And I'm going to go, um, so there's this one, and there's this one. I'm going to delete some of these because there are just too many of them. That one was a mistake, so I'm going to delete it. And this one's probably a mistake, too, because it's black and it's got no color. Uh, but again, be really careful what you delete, because if you delete the wrong one, um, so I'll just create another Lambert, and I'm going to name it right away Great or floor, sorry. And then I'm going to go over here, create, and I go file, and I'm going to go get that diffuse floor. All right, so now I got the floor. 
What I need to do is make sure that I have face and I have, oh, make sure I have the right face selected. And I want to be um, applying that to that selection. So I need to find my floor. All right. So if I unselect that, yeah, you can see that the floor has been applied. And again, it may not have worked because I didn't have normalized selected, but if that's the case, just leave it and uh, then you can do the walls as well. All right, so let's do the walls. And I'm gonna go and create another Lambert. And I, I'm gonna repeat, if it's not perfect, don't worry about it and just go with it so that you can kind of get it done. Uh, file, and then I'm gonna go get the walls. Uh, wall diffuse, there you go, click open. And I want to be inside the room. I got the face. If I don't have face on, I want to make sure I have face on. And I'm going to go and get the wall one. Where is it? Oh, there it is. So there you go. I got my wall. And then I'm going to go. Just color basically the four walls. All right.